of y is equal to x square five units downward हम pull करेंगे Now we have this equation. If z is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta is root of this equation, a naught z power n plus a one z power n minus one plus a two z power n minus two up to a n equal to zero, then we have to prove these two results. The first result is a naught plus a one cos theta plus a two cos two theta up to a n cos n theta is equal to zero, and we have similar uh, second result, but here function is uh, sine. Okay. Now this is root of this equation. This root uh, satisfy the equation. हम इस root को equation में रख सकते हैं. तो क्या मिलेगा हमें? We get a naught cos theta plus iota sine theta power n plus a one cos theta plus iota sine theta power n minus one and so on. And in second last term, we have a n minus one multiplied by cos theta plus iota sine theta plus a n is equal to zero. Okay. Now here we will use d minus theorem. We have a naught cos n theta plus iota sine n theta. Okay. Uh, here we have cos n minus one theta plus iota sine n minus one theta, and so on. We have this term n minus one cos theta plus iota sine theta plus a n is equal to zero. Now we collect here real part and imaginary part. This complex number is zero, so its real part. And imaginary part both are zero. Now real part is a naught cos n theta plus uh, a one cos n minus one theta plus a two cos n minus two theta and so on. We have a n minus one cos theta plus a n is equal to zero. Okay. ए नॉट के साथ कॉस का कोई फैक्टर नहीं है ठीक है तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ वी शुड रिमूव जेड पावर एन फ्रॉम हियर फॉर दैट आई डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाय जेड पावर एन सो आई गेट न्यू इक्वेशन ए नॉट प्लस ए वन जेड पावर माइनस वन प्लस ए टू जेड पावर माइनस टू प्लस ए थ्री जेड पावर माइनस थ्री एंड सो ऑन अप टू a n z power n in fact minus n this is equal to 0 now here i put complex number z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta this is root of this equation so this is also root of this equation when i sir equation ko z power n se divide kiya tab bhi ye root is equation ko satisfy karega by putting z is equal to cos plus i sin theta here i get real part as A naught from here plus a one cos theta from here cos theta plus i sin theta power minus one is cos theta minus i sin theta and from here I get real part as a two cos two theta and so on from here I get uh, real part as a n cos uh, n theta and term before this uh, gives real part as A n minus one cos n minus one theta. Okay, so uh, we have real part. This real part is equal to zero because this complex number is zero, so its real part is zero, and imaginary part is also zero. Now imaginary part of this complex number is from here we get minus a one sine theta. From here we get minus a two sine two theta, and so on. And from here we get 
imaginary part as minus a n sin n theta, this is equal to uh, 0. Multiply by minus, uh, multiply by minus 1, we get uh, all terms with plus sign. So, this is second result, this is, is equal to 0. So, initially, when uh, we root 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 root